uh, reinforce algorithm that we are going to talk about is one of the policy gradient methods only. So let's understand how does the reinforce algorithm work. So first of all, we will be designing a shallow neural network that intakes a state and output action probabilities. Uh, the preparing the whole training life cycle would be we would be running the environment simulation for n number of episodes where for each episode what we are trying to achieve is first of all we will be initializing an empty list then we will be choosing over our initial state this initial state can be chosen using uh, the environment dot reset option that we get in open so i will be talking about that later on uh, now we will be feeding this initial state into the neural network uh, that would be given as an output for actions that can be taken uh, depending upon the probabilities that we are getting, we would be to, uh, taking an action and getting the reward and then saving these state reward and actions in separate lists. Or you can save it as tuple also as you wish. Now repeat the above step until the terminal state in the episode comes in. So you are making sense, right? You take up a, uh, you take up a state, initial state, you take an action, you get a reward, you move to the next state. Again, from the next state, you, take, uh, you feed it to the neural network, you get action probabilities, you choose an action. You get to the next state again you feed that next state to the neural network you again get a set of probabilities this you will be doing until the episode ends right now once the episode ends that means you have uh, got a terminal state either you have failed or succeed uh, succeeded uh, you would be this would be forming us uh, one episode for us now once we have um, got our one episode we will be calculating discounted rewards for all the actions possible now what are discounted rewards so basically the idea of discounted reward is that uh, assume that we have uh, five steps before reaching to the final you took left right left left right and then eventually you succeeded in your goal now it is believed that the last action that we took the right the last right that we have taken at that particular state is the most important action and uh, the earlier the action taken in the episode the lesser important it becomes right so what we're trying to do is that for all the rewards that we have got for an action uh, we, as you know, uh, we consider the future rewards as well in case of stateful reinforcement learning. Uh, so in that case, what we would be doing is that for every uh, action that we have taken at a particular state, alongside the reward, we would be calculating a discounted reward as well and that we would be adding to that actual reward. So for an action, we get reward plus the discounted reward that is a f uh, discount over the future reward that we might get. A discount is basically nothing but a fraction. So like we won't be considering it completely, but a fraction of it like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0.5 into the future reward. So this is done uh, so that the model can have an idea whether taking this action will help me in the future or not. And uh, now we will be defining the loss function. The loss function is nothing but a summation of product of probabilities of each action into the discounted reward for that particular action. Uh, so we will be uh, calculating the product for each uh, probabilities for the action that we have chosen and a discounted reward and then adding them all together.